SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket suffered a catastrophic engine failure as it launched a batch of Starlink satellites into orbit last night. The incident happened during the second leg of the mission. This is the first time in nearly a decade the rocket has failed. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins us now from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Bill, what happened and how significant is this? Well, we don't know exactly what happened. Um, as you said, this happened during the second of two firings by that upper state engine. They were trying to restart it to raise the low point of the orbit, put those Starlinks in the exact orbit they required uh, when the vehicle came apart. Now, either the engine blew up or the thing structurally failed. We're not sure about that. Uh, but it, it's going to have an impact. I mean, the Federal Aviation Administration said they're going to investigate this. SpaceX won't be able to launch any more rockets until that investigation is complete. And the FAA agrees with uh, the recommendations and corrective actions. And we don't yet know how long that's going to take. So uh, that's a pretty big deal for SpaceX. There's two piloted flights coming up, a dramatic, fully commercial mission at the end of the month that will feature the first spacewalk by a civilian astronaut. And then, of course, the next flight of a crew to the International Space Station is coming up in August. Both of those missions ride on Falcon 9s. And so this problem is going to have to get resolved before either one can take off. Yeah, remind us what it was doing with satellites and any effort to retrieve them, see if they're damaged. Well, yeah, you know, it's interesting. Right after this incident occurred, Elon Musk, you know, the founder of SpaceX, uh, posted on X that flight controllers had made contact with five of the 20 Starlink satellites on board. Uh, they sent commands up to try to get them to use their onboard thrusters to raise their orbit. Uh, they were much lower than planned because of this failure. Uh, and we hadn't heard any updates on that. So we don't really know the fate of the 20 satellites on board. They're in such a low orbit, there's no way to recover them. They, they either fly themselves to a higher orbit or they'll fall back into the atmosphere and burn up. And I suspect the latter. So wow. it, it, it's a setback for SpaceX, but they can recover from that. What's the FAA's role, and are, um, do they deem whether SpaceX can go back up? Yeah, you know, the FAA licenses all launches, space launches, from the United States. So they will absolutely participate in the failure investigation. They have to agree with the conclusions of that investigation, and they have to go along and approve uh, whatever corrective actions are required before they'll issue another launch license. So in other words, you know, until this, gets, this process is completed, the FAA will not grant them a license to fly, uh, and they'll be grounded until that happens. I want to get to some other space news while we have you. NASA released new images from the James Webb Telescope. Whenever this happens, we all get very excited. What does it show us? <laughs> you know, I'm an amateur astronomer, and I love to see these pictures myself. Uh, this particular is really, really a beautiful shot. It's showing two galaxies that are gravitationally interacting. Uh, one is a compact elliptical, they call it. That's a white blob kind of in the lower left of the picture. Uh, and around it is this what was once a spiral galaxy, much like the Earth's uh, Milky Way, that's been really distorted uh, by this gravitational encounter. So it almost looks like a, a penguin. You know, the core of that original galaxy is what forms the eye of that penguin. So it's, a, it's really an intriguing photograph, and it, and it illustrates the kind of, you know, crazy things that are going on out there in deep space, you know, over billions of years. Bill Harwood, thank you so much.